Antiques for Everyone is back in Birmingham and has a lot to offer in its 30th year. It's the largest art, antiques and interiors fair in the UK. Um, we've got over 230 exhibitors with one of the most diverse ranges of antiques as well. There's a real trend towards interior design at the moment and um, finding that one-off unique piece to add to your interiors, that mix between contemporary and old um, and that's kind of where people are coming along and really discovering, it's discovering special pieces. We have a daily talks programme, so we have um, experts from Antiques Roadshow, uh, Judith Miller and Will Farmer and they come in every day and talk about top tips for new collectors, buying arts, investment, um, illustrating what they're talking about with pieces from around the fair um, and it's incredibly popular and people, the feedback is that people you know, learn a lot from them. W Hammond, a specialist in Whitby Jet, brought some of its historic items to the show. It's, it's a fantastic um, British gemstone. Uh, jet, jet can be found all over the world. But uh, the, the jet that's actually found in Whitby is the finest quality. If you look at some of the Victorian jet, uh, the carving and the quality of the carving that, uh, that there is uh, in the material, it's still after 100 and sort of 60, 170 years, it still sort of keeps its definition and its shine. I think, um, you know, understanding really the, the British skill level that's, that's there, um, the variation on the carvings and the types of work that can be done is, is so broad and it's something I think we need to remember. We in our workshop are training uh, young um, people to actually pick up the skill and, and, and do it but you know we, we, we feel it's so important that we try and hold this, uh, this craftsmanship um, you know, here uh, in, the, in this country. It's not just items from history on display, with modern takes on classics available too. Well, I was approached to illustrate Peter Pan, and I've produced about 24 colour illustrations. Uh, you see them all behind me here. Um, and when I was illustrating it, I was very aware that previous editions of Peter Pan, they've just turned Neverland into some kind of jungle. And I was disappointed with that. Does, Neverland doesn't look like a fantastical place. So I endeavour to make my Neverland a really fantastic kind of place. So if you look closely at the pictures, you'll see all sorts of extra details in there that just bring it to life more. The show will run until Sunday. Lindsay Smith, for The Midland, at the NEC in Birmingham.